stars of the radio come to Park Lane. At Grosvenor House, the top liners in radio meet to do honour to the listener's choice. The occasion is the presentation of the Daily Mail's first national radio awards. Among the famous is Raymond Glendenning, the voice of sport, and at a nearby table, Sam Costa, the voice of much binding. Others in this galaxy of microphone names include Richard Dimbleby of 20 Questions fame. Perpetuated to the memory of Tommy Handley, the awards will be known as Tommy's. Wilfred Pickles is among those who see Ted Kavanagh, the man who wrote the Itmar shows, present the first of the silver microphones to the first lady of the air, veteran actress Gladys Young. And now the award to the radio actor of the year. Right at the top of the pole stood James McKechnie, just where one would expect him. James McKechnie. To James McKechnie, star of many radio plays, a Tommy for his performances. And the final award for the show of the year goes to Take It From Here. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. For my first group of songs tonight, hey, I Dick, should... Dick, what? Eh? We're not here to sing. You're not here to sing. We're not? No. Isn't this the East Finchley Working Man's Institute Club and Social Night? <laughs> no, Bentley, we go on there afterwards. Oh. This, uh, yeah. this carve up, this is the one we do for nothing. Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> Bentley, have you any, a few words you'd like to say? Uh, certainly, yeah. yes. Uh, some years ago, I was right. Thank you, Bentley, oh. we'll let you know. <laughs> but we really ought to take this thing seriously. After all, today, instead of taking the Mickey, we're taking the microphone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was an award one, was it not? <laughs> uh, Yes, it was. 